So the first bow that I'll be showing you how to do is using my Easy Bow Maker. So I like this, there's the ruler, there's a spool holder, super convenient to use. So I'm using three different ribbons. Two of them are two and a half inches and one is one and a half inch. So first I just measure out my tail at six inches and just make sure that you put the ribbon in between those two dowels in the middle. And I want my loops to be five inches. So when I create the loop on the left side, the end of that loop should be at the five inch mark on your Easy Bow Maker. And then just loop it around, go to the right side, do the same thing, five inches, do the same thing on the left and then the same thing on the right. If it makes it easier, flatten the ribbon to make sure that all of your loops are completely even. You're just gonna fluff it out later on anyways. Next, I'm gonna be using this cute gnome ribbon I got from Dollar Tree, it's so cute. So all I do is just kind of move my loops out of the way. Again, measure the tail at six inches. Now this is one-sided ribbon, so this is gonna be a little bit different. So once I have the tail, you wanna make sure that the tail stays faced up and then you're gonna twist it so that way the left side, when you go to create your loop, is the wrong side up. And then when you create your loop, then it's back to being faced up. So these I want to be a little bit smaller. So I measured these at four inches. So where the end of the loop is, that's going to be your four inch mark. So once you create your left side loop, give it a twist, do the same thing to the right side, just create your loop at the four inches, give it a twist when you go to the left side, make sure all your loops are the same, and then just cut your tail right off. Also, I'm only doing two loops on each side for each of the ribbons. You could do as much or as little loops as you would like. So that's just an FYI. This is just how I like to do it. And then for my thinner ribbon, same thing. Measure the tail at six inches. Move it to the left side. Create my little loop. These, again, I'm making smaller. So these are going to be at three inches. Since this is double-sided, I don't have to do that little twist in between so just create your loops, make sure they're all the same. Use your, that little ruler on your Easy Bow Maker and cut that tail right off. Then I like to use a zip tie to hold my pieces together just because it is super durable and you just wanna tighten it as tight as it'll go. This part is, uh, I just like to do the dovetails on all my ends. So you just kinda fold it in half and then cut downwards, super cute. And then just go around your bow, put your fingers in between the loops and just start fluffing it right out. And also these are wired ribbons. I like to use the wired ribbons just because when you do go to fluff it out, it will stay in that, that spot it doesn't it's not droopy or anything like that so there's the first bow super cute and easy now this next bow you don't need an easy bow maker so all i'm doing is cutting my pieces into 16 inches in length and i'm cutting two of each of the ribbon again you could do as much or as little as you would like so once I have those cut down, I'm just folding one side so that way the entire piece measures at 10 and a half inches. So just measure from the tail to the top of the loop. You want it to be 10 and a half inches. Again, you can make it bigger or smaller just depending on how big you want your loops to be. So once you have those all folded up, you literally just want to start putting them together and just kind of making a bouquet of ribbon. Always have your zip tie handy. 
and then just go ahead and zip tie all those pieces together. You do wanna make sure that you zip tie above where you did fold it, otherwise the pieces are just gonna kinda of come apart. And then again, I like to dovetail my tails, so I went ahead and did that. And then just go around your bow and just start fluffing it up. And again, since this is wired ribbon, it's super easy to maneuver the loops and the tails of this kind of bow. So you could do whatever you want with this kind of bow. If you want your ribbon to be in all different directions, you could do that. I think that's super cute. And then again, just put this on any piece that you would like. And this was just super easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to sprinkle and have a good day. Bye.